Hello, I'm Rex Schildhaus, and because things on the internet seem to lose their date references pretty quick, today is Sunday, May 5th, 2024, and I'm kind of catching up on stuff. Uh, this is the second re book review I did uh, today, and I'm going to make some of the same comments on this one that I made on the first one, so it might be a little bit repetitive. But uh, quite a while ago, I started my own homepage, and uh, it was primarily for uh, to give videos to my students 24-7, whether they're enrolled in class, after class, whatever, which I couldn't do on the uh, school district's homepage. You could only access that if you were uh, a currently enrolled student. And the other, uh, one of the other primary purposes was uh, information about celiac, a gluten allergy, because uh, when I was diagnosed, probably 1996-97 time frame, uh, allergy to gluten, I would walk into a restaurant and say, I have an allergy to gluten, I'm celiac, um, how am I going to handle your menu? They'd want to turn me into vegetarians, they'd want to, oh, so you can't drink milk, so you can't, no. So I, I set up that portion of my homepage to try to educate people, and uh, along the way, because I read a lot of books, I love to read, uh, I started putting up book reviews, and those three subjects on my homepage probably generated the most interactive uh, communications uh, based on the homepage. My hobbies generated some. Uh, usually they, they generate comments like uh, good job, neato, uh, stuff like that. But the book reviews uh, and celiac and the videos generated questions, comments, interactions. So I just reviewed uh, Lessons in Chemistry by uh, Bonnie Garmus. I gave this thing six out of five stars. Really, really stinking good book. I just finished, um, and it, it, they tangled up, I just finished Kane Chronicles. This is volume three, uh, The Serpent Shadow. And if it's in the front, I'll tell you what volumes one and two are. I can't tell you because it's not in the front. It's not easy to find. Anyway, oh, The Kane Chronicles. The Red Pyramid, uh, The Throne of Fire. So uh, that's books one and two in the Game Chronicle. In previous book reviews, I gave Rick Riordan uh, five stars. The Percy Jackson series, uh, which I've read quite a few of, very, very detailed, beautifully detailed, beautifully written. And while I would have a few minor changes in reading those, because I read exactly what people write, and I'm annoyed when people start a sentence with things like, but... There's a difference between but and however, in my opinion. Uh, I, I'm i really annoyed. Simple typos really get me. And I, I found a couple of those in the Percy Jackson series, but not very much. This book, uh, the, the Kane Chronicles, is written in a different format than the Percy Jackson series. This is written as if uh, the Kanes, Sadie, and... Carter, um, yeah, Carter, as if Sadie and Carter picked up a uh, tape recorder and dictated it and then sent him off to tapes. And uh, it's not his flow of writing. Uh, the other thing is um, Sadie was six years in England with her grandparents. Carter was six years uh, traveling the world with his father as an American and I read how people write and I would not expect Sadie and Carter to speak the same way based on their development. Sadie, uh, Car Sadie going from year six when she lost her mother to year 12 uh, when she lost her father and in that six years she lived with her grandparents in England so when people fall on their butt, she's saying, uh, fell on their bum. Okay, understand that. But everything else in the book, they, they speak the same way. And I wouldn't expect that from a person who'd spent six years, ages six to 12, growing up in England, uh, growing up in London, to be the same as a uh, kid who went from eight to 14, I think it is, Carter, uh, growing up with his dad, traveling internationally, as his dad is a uh, archaeologist, uh, Egyptologist, and uh, chasing things. 
good book. Uh, I, numerous typos, numerous, numerous sentences that are just poorly incomplete, poorly structured. Um, out of five stars, I give the K and Chronicles three, and that's all. Um, if I had to do it over, uh, I don't think I'd read them again. And if I had to do the Percy Jackson series over again, I think that would be enjoyable a second time. Uh, in reference to the Harry Potter series, uh, I've read those twice, three times, three times I think. I know twice and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would probably read, as I said, the Percy Jackson series again and enjoy it. This one here I wouldn't. Uh, once is enough. I, I didn't like the way it was written. I didn't like the typos in it. They cause, when I come up with a typo and I, and, and I normally cite or record where they are, but I found out that most people don't care. Editors, uh, authors don't care. Hey, it, it, it sold a lot of books. I don't care. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to touch it again. And they go on with it. So, um, a lot of activity. He brings in the Egyptian gods in this one. Uh, Percy Jackson deals with the Roman and Greek gods. This one here brings in the Egyptian gods. They're tough to follow. And um, he ties it up well. He brings a lot of interesting things into play. He's got you jumping all over the world. But the typos, the inconsistent text, um, the, the presentation, the way it's written, just ground. And uh, to me, it, it's, it was a library. It's a library book. It's going back to the library. This is not one I would put in my personal library and keep. If somebody offered had a had a uh, yard sale with the Percy Jackson series, say for two, three, four dollars a book, I'd probably buy the whole series and put them in my personal library. Uh, this one here, I'd leave on the shelf, even if they were selling it for one buck a book, for a dollar a book. Three out of five. Quite honestly, three out of five. Disappointed. Rick Ryden writes much, much better than this. I wonder if this was actually written by a ghost writer or with a ghost writer. Just my comments. So. Not happy with this one at all. Thanks for watching, and um, I'd like to say hope you enjoyed it. I, I, if you read it, I hope you enjoy it, because otherwise it'll be like I feel about it. I quite honestly thought it was a waste of time. Uh, I did enjoy it to a degree, but it's frustrating when you read highly skilled authors, and that's demonstrated through the Percy Jackson series, and then you, you see what's in here. I don't like the way it was written. I don't like its format. I don't like the typos. I don't like the inconsistencies that I detected between the characters as to when or how they did things. So, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.